What's up? I'm Troubleshoot. In this quick guide, I'll show you how to install the most powerful image slash video AI tool you can download today, Comfy UI and Comfy UI Manager. With these two simple tools, you can get incredible control over AI image generation, text to image, image to image, image to video, etc. The list is pretty much infinite. To begin, in the description down below, you'll find a link to Comfy UI on GitHub. To download the latest release, simply scroll down past the files, then past this header image, the table of contents, keyboard shortcuts, and finally you'll reach installing. Here you'll see Windows, which we'll be focusing on, but you can also get a Jupyter Notebook for use with cloud services, manually install on Windows or Linux, and there's so much more here. For Windows though, it's this first option. Just click the direct download link here. Keep in mind, this is a 7z file. You'll need 7zip, WinRAR, or something similar to open it. On recent versions of Windows 11, it should have built-in 7z support, so you might not need to download anything. Also, keep in mind, keep in mind, this program requires a pretty good graphics card to run. It doesn't need to be anything crazy, but a relatively recent NVIDIA or AMD graphics card should definitely speed up any kind of generation infinitely. But if you really need, you can run this CPU only it'll just be a lot slower. When it's done downloading, open that file and you'll see inside of it Comfy UI Windows Portable. All we need to do is extract it. I'll place it on my desktop for quick access. And once it's done extracting, which is going to take some time, once it's extracted, you can delete the 7z file and open the folder. In here, we've got some important info, which is just how to run and how to fix an error you'll get in just a moment. In order to update this, simply use inside of the update folder, update comfyui.bat. In order to fix Python issues, you can run update Comfy UI and Python dependencies, and finally to share models between Comfy UI and other UIs such as Automatic Stable Diffusion Web UI, you can copy and edit extra model paths.yaml in Comfy UI right over here. Though to begin, before we even think about running anything, we need to download and install Git. If you already have it installed, that's great. You can check by clicking up here, typing in CMD and hitting enter to open command prompt. Type in git and if you see a response like this, it's installed. If you see a response like this, it's not installed. In the description down below, you'll find a link to download git. Simply click this over here to download git and click through this installer here. It is quite a lengthy process of clicking next a bunch of times, but eventually you'll get there. Once git is installed, you'll then want to head across to Comfy UI Manager, which you'll also find linked down below. This is a super useful extension that helps us manage other extensions and things like that in Comfy UI. Simply scroll down past the files, past this image, and down here in installation, you'll find this over here. Step two, script install manager. Simply right click this, choose save link as, and with this file downloaded, drag this file into the root folder of Comfy UI here. Then simply run this and Comfy UI Manager will be installed. The final thing to do is to actually start the program. We can run for CPU only or preferably run for NVIDIA GPUs here. I'll double click this as I've got an NVIDIA GPU installed, then Comfy UI will start up. As soon as it's done, it'll open a page in your browser and this is Comfy UI. It looks very confusing, but it's actually relatively simple. Every element here is either an input, an output, or a bunch of controllers. Each of these has different dots, either on the left for inputs or on the right for outputs. Each of these inputs and outputs link to different blocks. You can adjust them just by dragging from point A to point B until eventually you can customize your own things like this. On the far left, we've got load models where we can load a checkpoint. By default, it's asking to use SD3 medium. However, if you click the right and left arrows to change this, you'll see it says undefined. This is because we have no models in our Comfy UI. In the Comfy UI folder, head into Comfy UI, followed by Models, and then Checkpoints. In here, we can drop Stable Diffusion and other image generation checkpoints or safe tensor files in order to load them in Comfy UI. As mentioned previously, if you already have something like Automatic Stable Diffusion installed, you can head back to 
to the original folder here, comfy UI, scroll down and find extra model paths.yaml.example. If you don't see it ending in .example, click view on Windows 11 followed by show and make sure file name extensions and hidden items are both ticked. On Windows 10 on the ribbon bar at the very top, you'll see view and the same buttons on the far right. Simply copy this file and remove the newly added hyphen copy and dot example. Now we can open this file with a text editor like Notepad and we can customize things here. Everything with a hash before it is commented out and doesn't matter. By default, it says automatic 1111 is installed in path to stable diffusion web UI. If you're not using this at all, simply remove it or add hashes all the way down before all of these lines here to deactivate it. My stable diffusion is installed on my desktop as SDUI and web UI. I can right click my address, copy over here and paste it in here as such. I'm pretty sure we might need to replace backslashes with forward slashes. We can then save this file and restart Comfy UI just by closing it and reopening run NVIDIA GPU. Now you can see it's added extra paths and just like that, it's already detected my existing stable diffusion models and things like that. As I clicked right here, you can see it's loaded a model over here. Fantastic. If you don't have any models installed, you can head across to a website like civit.ai and on the model section, you can find thousands of models for stable diffusion, flux, and so many other kinds. Keep in mind, there are many websites that do this, not just this website, so you can download from any of them as you see fit and place them into your comfy UI folder, followed by models and checkpoints whenever you collect them. We can also click this text to make a pop-up appear that shows us all of our different installed checkpoints. The same can be done for any other option that has a drop-down available. Also, while in these menus, use middle click to drag around so that you don't accidentally move blocks and you can change modes in the bottom right if you wish to drag it around spacebar, use the mouse to do the same thing, but you just can't drag blocks by accident. You can also right click to add new nodes or customize nodes in different ways. But for some reason, things are acting a bit weird. Queuing up our image, something should come out and this is what came out for me. It's a bit of a mess, but for a moment, let's leave this workspace and in the top left under workflow, we'll choose browse templates. Here, there's plenty of different pre-made templates for image generation, image to image, LoRa, which is style transfer, in painting, which is replacing objects, out painting to expand images, embeddings, and on the left, flux, which is a different kind of model, much like stable diffusion 3.5 and stable diffusion XL. We've got control net, upscaling, video generation, area composition, 3D and audio. And all of these are fantastic examples, but you can download thousands more workflows off of the internet and places like Civit AI. For now, I'll browse templates and open the default image generation. The first time we open this, you'll see this pop up prompting us to download a specific model. If this happens, just choose download and wait for it to finish. Then in our Comfy UI folder, open Comfy UI, followed by models, then checkpoints, and you can drag the file into here. Once you've done that, we can close the pop-up. We should be able to see a much more compressed and simple example. Here we can choose Q, and this time things should work properly as it's a much more simple setup. And yeah, it was. I think the reason there was weird things happening with the last one is because I didn't load a standard model like this. So here we have our first successful image generation, a universe and a model. We can right click the image and choose save image. We can copy it or open it to open it in a new tab. From here, it's all about just customizing things, trying different workflows and things like that. The Comfy UI manager we installed is up here. Choosing manager brings up this window. This window allows us to install missing custom nodes, which is a fantastic button if you import a workflow off of the internet. We can also install custom nodes from a specific URL and we can manage models over here. By doing so, it opens up a page where we can download different upscaling models, different generation models, etc. There's so much here and we can search at the very top if you don't wanna rely on a website like Civit AI, for example. We can also update 
all of our extensions, update Comfy UI, and things like that. It's a super powerful tool, mostly useful for the install missing custom nodes button. You can choose custom nodes manager to bring in new nodes, which are essentially these blocks. Each block is a node, so we can bring in more functionality to the program. There's so much available here, it's actually very confusing. But that's that. You've now got Comfy UI installed, and you can start generating images, and from the default workflows, actually do quite a bit without needing to know too much about how the program works. Anyways, hopefully this video helped you. Thank you for watching. My name's been Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.